we've been doing coding club and we've been doing scratch on the box and me and bethany start from the beginning up to here now so it's been really fun and we've learned a lot I think Scratch is mainly for younger children to learn how to use things like a Raspberry Pi and then they can they could be a coder one day and make games, proper ones, big ones that anyone could play like Minecraft. I've been coming for the to this club for about six weeks now. We like we do different codings like for different games every week. And we like change the games every week. For, like, because this week now we're finishing off our flappy power. I'm Nicola Hammond, and the associate head teacher here at Woodlands. Um, we've been running the Cody Club now for approximately two terms. It seems to be going really well. Children are really enjoying it. Um, it's run by Communities First and Digital Volunteers. So digital volunteers that we have at the moment is Miles, who works for a local uh, software company, and Oliver, there's a pupil at a local secondary school, and they're really enjoying the clubs as well. We want to give our pupils the opportunity to develop their uh, computer programming skills, and it fits in perfectly with the IT curriculum and with a problem-solving strand that we have. Um, and also develops the pupils' literacy and numeracy, numeracy skills. Some of our pupils have actually expressed an interest in attending and becoming digital volunteers once they started secondary school. So what happened then is they would then run two clubs at our school, one where they would train the pupils, and then those pupils were then would teach the teachers, um, and then they would be able to deliver that knowledge to the children. And also um, run another club that would be there for the community, so um, training our parents. So in effect, our children will then be um, delivering um, computer programming skills to the community and to the children of Woodlands as well. Uh, trying to make it go um, down but it keeps on going down too fast and then I keep on losing. Uh, trying to fix the, how fast it goes down but I don't know how. My name is Miles, I'm a Chief Technical Officer for Blurt, a social media analytics company in Cumbran. Um, I got involved with the Digital Volunteers Programme uh, because I can see a, a real shortage of engineers, talented engineers, software engineers, selfishly uh, in the country and I think really we need to get more kids into engineering generally, um, particularly software engineering. Uh, recruitment is very difficult, um, there's just not enough of them out there. We'll start off with uh, Scratch. Scratch is a great program for uh, teaching them concepts of coding without actually having to uh, know the, the, the language, any languages. It's all sort of graphics based and they move blocks around. Uh, and then we've been introducing concepts uh, of programming, so variables, uh, loops, uh, listeners. Uh, and then we've been going a bit further than that and trying to introduce. Uh, more engineering concepts and saying things like, well, uh, that works well, but what could we do differently to make it work um, regardless of the situation, you know? Um, this, bit of, this, this thing works, that's great, but should we just leave it at that, or do we need to try a few more backgrounds to see if it's, um, if it, if it's reliable, so a bit of testing. Um, and trying to get them to problem solve as well, because uh, I guess that is engineering in a nutshell, it is problem solving. Yeah, I love coding because it um, shows, it um, teaches us all different things about um, laptops and how to make games and stuff. I love coding because when, when I, I come to here I feel all calm and sturdy you know and like coding can help you calm down and I've always wanted to know how people actually make games so people that use Raspberry Pis basically make games all, all the time. I love coding because um, most of the time we have been making games and most of it, most of my time is wasted on games and I really like them um, and I've always been wanting to know um, how games work.